Hello guys, namaste. Welcome back to Android Tricks. You have already read the title, so I won't beat around the bush and get right into it. But before starting this video, I want you to guess how many apps do you think Google has released under their name on the Google Play Store? The answer is definitely going to surprise you. So to make it interesting, go ahead in the comment section and write your answer. I'll answer this question at the end of this video. And then you can see if you were right or if you were even close. With that being said, let's get started. Every app on this list is some other other kind of experimental application and just a line is an AR experimental application that lets you make simple drawings in augmented reality. As you can see on the screen, I can draw whatever I want and it just stays there even if I move around. It's a fun application to play with and you can also share your creations by recording it or clicking a picture. The next up on the list is Photoscan. Unlike the name indicates, it is not your regular scanning application. It is made with the purpose of restoring your old photos which are about to get perished after saving it for years. And now it is time to get them over the cloud. This application experiments with machine learning of Google which takes different sides of the photos clubs them and then creates a replica of your photo which looks more like an original photo rather than the digital print. Link is in the description box below and you will have to try it out to know how awesome it is. Toontastic 3D is a storytelling application where you can draw, animate and narrate your own character. It has plethora of characters and scenes which you can choose from and animating them is as easy as swiping your fingers. Currently, they do not have an example or library to get ideas from which is a bummer and the user guide is not very friendly. You can add your own voice and record screen to create your story and share it without any watermarks which in itself is a good reason for you to try this out. The next application on the list is Voice Access which is an accessibility service that helps users who have difficulty manipulating the touch screen using their Android device by their voice. All you have to do is say OK Google followed by Start Voice Access. It will add number to everything clickable on your screen and once you see that you just have to say the number to perform the action. You can access on screen help by saying what can I say within voice access. You can also see the full list of voice commands by going into voice access setting and selecting show all commands. You should definitely share this with someone who is having troubles using smartphones due to any injury or disease. Moving on, we have Trusted Contacts which is a personal safety app that opens a direct line of sharing between you and your loved ones. You can add your closest friends and family as Trusted Contacts. It is really good application to ensure that you are safe as this application loves your Trusted Contacts to view your location if you allow them. If everything's fine, you can deny the request and in case you are unable to respond, your last known location is shared automatically within a custom time frame which you have set. The best part about this application is that it even works when you are offline or your phone is out of battery. Androidify has been on the Play Store for a long time now. It was created to bring more popularity to Android OS in the community by allowing users to create, accessorize and share Android characters that look like them. The UI is as simple as it can get and once you are done with your character, you can also share it as emoticons, animated GIFs and pictures over texts, posts or chats. Link is down in the description box below so make sure you check this one out. The next up on the list will help you save your data on your smartphone. It does that by revoking access to internet for applications which are running in the background. You can choose the apps which you want to restrict but I would rather recommend you to not change the settings and let it do its job. It not only helps you by saving data but also gives you the list of application along with their data consumption. Just by looking at the data usage, you can analyze which application should you revoke the internet access for and which apps are not needed at all on your device. This application was mainly built for developing countries where people have limited data access. 
Since we are talking about developing countries and data issues, they have also launched Go application series, which essentially consumes less space on your device and also works on low-end device like a charm. There's Google Go, Assistant Go, and YouTube Go as well. I'll link them all down in the description box below. I have been using Wonderlist for a long time now as my to-do list application. It's a really good application, but when I was researching for this video, I stumbled upon Google Task, which I think will replace the Wonderlist soon on my device. It automatically syncs with your Google Calendar and Gmail to add tasks to the application. You can also add details, due dates, subtasks, which I found very interesting. Also fun fact, this app has been so unpopular that even if you search for Google Task application, you don't end up with the link of this application on the first page. The last app on the list is definitely something you might have heard of but I am sure there is someone out there who isn't aware of this wonderful application called Google Opinion Rewards which allows you to earn Google Play credits by answering the surveys which you get. Since I keep changing phones, I often forget to install this and I am stuck at 93 rupees but don't be judgmental of this number as my friends have literally earned over 1000 credits by answering the surveys on this device. Go ahead and install it, there's nothing to lose, only to win. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more awesome videos like this. And coming back to the question I asked earlier in this video, how many apps do you think Google has released on the Google Play Store under their name? And the answer is 100 apps. And I am sure no one would have got this right because at the max which someone would think of the apps which Google has released would be 50 or maximum 40. But this is 100 apps and you can definitely go and check them all out from the link in the description box below. So yeah, this was something fun to search when I was scripting this video and I did not know of the 100 apps. Most of the apps are not available for India as they are region specific but yeah, they have 100 apps on the Google Play Store. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.